Ha! Well, 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 Leaf Thief. No wonder your last name is Thief. That's not even my real- Don't change the subject! Do you know why you're here in the interrogation room? I don't know, you just- You don't know, huh? Sure, you don't know what happened to my mouse either, right? The last time I saw it, it was right next to you. Ha! Gotcha! How did you know it was there? Well, where, where else would it be? Well, with a split keyboard, the possibilities are endless, Mr. Thief. Like this one. Or this one. Or this one! Oh, stop! Hello there, digmates. I'm Dominique. And I'm Mikael. And besides chatting with you on Reddit and Discord, we've also been following your latest setup trends. Take, for instance, this setup. Hey, wait a minute. That's not it. Where did you get these photos, David? Okay, that's the one. This is the one by Shoop the fucking Whoop. Yeah, or this other one posted on Discord by Pussy Chris. Or this one posted on Instagram by Maljaziri1. Or these cool setups with funky keycap combos and artistic mousepad. Wait, is that a keyboard with a keycap? With a keyboard? That's really cool. We all love these awesome setups, but today we want to focus on the peculiar, the unique, the misunderstood. Shall we? We shall. And what's a better way to start the review than with a good breakfast? Here we have the breakfast setup by The Great Dane. What do you think about this setup, Miguel? Well, first of all, that's a great looking croissant <laughs> and coffee. I'm hungry now. Have you had breakfast? Yes, but not that nice. I like the elegant tuxedo-like keycaps and palm pads combination. Yeah, that's that's really nice that some people have tried all those combinations. You can also do it the other way around, like white in the inside and black on the outside. Uh -huh. Also looks really nice. I have that at home. Yeah, despite it being a small setup, I think it has good ergonomics. Yeah, like if you look at it, the, the, the screen has a, a really nice height. And also you have like a vertical mouse in the bottom. If you want to know more about vertical mouse, check this review that we made recently. Oh, and he's in a cafeteria. He's like in a coffee shop. Yeah, he's. I mean, Ooh. everybody's looking at him right now. Yeah. Although I must say, I'm a bit worried about that tall water glass. Yeah. You know, there that's... That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, or a, re or a recipe for a good breakfast. I like that setup. Next, we have The Handshake by WSB Suck. 99. 99. Pros, what's cool about this setup? Oh, I think the, the core of this setup is the anti pole tunnel syndrome setup. You know, everything is done in the handshake position, meaning that all your devices are closer to your hands being like 45 to 60 degrees. So you have the Digma race with a tenting kit, you have a vertical mouse, and uh, you know, that's the whole goal of this setup is to keep your hands like that. Yeah. So I think that's pretty interesting. So you can even see a macro pad down there, which I don't know how he reaches for that. Yeah, that's a bit, it's really under the left side. Yeah, but you can see this really compact and even it plays with different heights. So the monitor is in the upper side and the other one is below. Yeah, he so has a keyboard tray. I would say some cable management would be That's needed thing. there. That's or maybe wait for a wireless race or a wireless Stigma Defy. Next we have this Echo setup by Arnulfus. <laughs> That's a very Spanish pronunciation. Arnulfus? <laughs> yeah, by Arnulfus. Ah, he has this really cool trackpad. Yeah, I think ah. he, he repurposed uh, an old phone as a trackpad. So kudos for recycling, reutilizing and you know, all the triple R. The overall setup is crisp and clean, especially with with those dash keycaps. I like the dash keycaps. Yeah, the dash keycaps of the Dima Race look really nice. How can you make the phone into a trackpad? He left the instructions, like we're gonna leave the link below. Oh, There's some okay. easy instructions to follow. The only downside is that the screen is always on. So your uh, battery is gonna drain. Yeah. But maybe if you're traveling or something like that, that could be a good idea. Good like you can pop out your phone, have a trackpad real quick and then put Easy. it away. Yeah. And next we have this one, the dual ball or pair of balls. Who named this the pair of balls? Someone who needs to grow a pair. <laughs> oh, oh, Mikael. And that someone is... Who grow this cream? This setup is by Ari Perkyo. That's pretty cool. He has two trackballs. Yeah, like he has one 
just tucked into the into the Digma race, the one on the left. I think that's a it's floppy, like a floppy ball, I think it's called. And he used the pins on the on the Digma nice. race to attach it to the ball and then put that into the race. That's really ingenious. It's a bit difficult to reach with your thumb. You need to reach it with your index. Yeah, because if it were because on the it's race. It's really high. Yeah. So probably it's, that's a bit high, but maybe with your index, it's much more comfortable. He maybe uses it with his index finger. Yeah. To yeah. be fair. Side. On the downside, yeah, you're going to be needing to handle your mouse with the with your left hand uh, because of how the ploppy mouse is designed. Is that what it's called? Ploppy mouse? I think it's, yeah. It's called the ploppy mouse, yeah. And the, the, the two the, balls he'll... with the ploppy mouse. Yeah, but he has the other trackball mice on the right, so I guess he, that's why it's called the dual ball. But if you don't want to go, you know, with tweaking that ploppy ball and whatnot, there's an easy solution. This other setup yeah. by Arctic yeah. on Discord, he has two mice. He has two balls. Yeah. I mean, the <laughs> he has two track balls. The left and the right. You um, know that song? I know you don't know that song. It's a Filipino song. Oh, then I don't know it. I really like how, you know, even the, the trackball mice match the color of the keycaps yeah. and whatnot. And also he can always reach with either hand to grab his ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that so he doesn't use the mouse um buttons. The mouse as a mouse. He just uses the trackball. Yeah, and he cannot reach for the trackball buttons because they are far away so I guess he has a layer yeah. on the Digma race with the with the clicks you know right click next we have a tropical heat wave this is by white knight ah I like this one he has heat pads on his rays Yes, I, I guess where he lives is a bit cold and he wants to keep his hand warm. I have the opposite problem. You know, my hands tend to be sweaty. Sweaty. So I want cool. I take the palm pass away, you know, and the aluminum is quite cold. So I oh. like that. I like, I would like this one because I have cold hands. You know what they say? Cold hands, warm heart. But does this take a lot of energy from the rays, do you think? Because he uses the energy from the keyboard to generate the heat. Yeah, I, I don't know how that's going to affect the, the circuits. On the, the circuits, yeah. yeah the circuit on the tree. keyboard. So yeah, that definitely voids the warranty, I would say. So White Knight, uh, sorry, but your warranty might be voided. But your hands are warm. But your which hands is, you will know. be warm. Next, the Starfighter Spaceship by Vaga Bionda on Reddit. Ooh, Ooh. this is interesting. That's, I like this setup. That, that, that looks really, really fancy and, and you know even comfortable I would say. You think? I like the ingenuity but that would mean that you have to type with your arms like, kind of floating. Yeah but, but he has the armrest of his chair so maybe he's resting the, his okay. arms in the in their armrest of the chair and I mean that's a really high degree angle you know that's maybe more than 60 so you don't see the keys but you know, if you touch type, you don't need to see the two keys. Yeah, of course. Definitely get some getting used to, but you know, so the Defy has 60% angle, so which is similar. And the trackball is on the right side of the right keyboard, which means that he has to kind of move. Yeah, that's the only thing that concerns me. Like, like a where, button. how do you reach for that trackball? You know, because it's a really down on a vertical, so it's it's not like you have it on the table. It's not, it's not even horizontal. Yeah. And then also the little macro pad that he has on the table, that's extra difficult to reach. Yeah. I probably would use a layer instead of having that, you know, have another layer. It's a really cool setup. It's a cool setup. Really I mean, it cool. made the list of this video, so. Yep. <laughs> this keyboard is actually called the Kyria. I would say Kyria, but Kyria. Go correct us in the, in the comments, please. Or the trackball is the Kensington. Yep. But the thing that really grabs our attention here is the tripod holders. I guess if you want to do this type of setup, Obviously, you need to get the tripod, and luckily for us, with the Digma Defy... What yeah, it's gonna have like four threaded holes in the back, where you can attach like some custom uh, shape uh, holder that you can then attach a, a tripod there, or you know, you can create any type of attachment that you want. You know, that's like a blank slate yeah. for you to think about what the possibilities are, and you definitely can recreate the setup, and you know, imagination is the limit. Next, we have The Tragedy, and this is by, ooh. Someone who wants to remain what anonymous for obvious here? reasons. So this setup is, uh, what happened? 
Uh, he left his Dima uh, race at home. No, God, please, no, no! That's an actual tragedy, you it know, going to work. I mean, we don't have a problem here in Dima because if you forget your keyboard, there's plenty to spare. But at your regular office, I'm guessing they give you that Dell keyboard. I don't Ooh. know. But I'm I'm glad that he shared, he, he just wanted to share his setup with yeah. us. Good luck to you, sir. Next, the minimalist. This is an interesting keyboard setup by yeah. Flubert. Harnsworth on Reddit. I love that the mouse is bigger <laughs> than, than the keyboard. keyboard. And how many keys that he, does he have? He just has 16. Yeah, and, and that's counting the thumb keys. If you only count the alpha keys, he, he only has 12. 12. So that's less than the ones that you need for the whole alphabet. So I guess he's using, using layers or maybe combinations of keys. Maybe pressing two keys will result uh, you know, like cording. Maybe he's a stenographer and he's using like kind of a stenography Maybe. to do combinations of keys will trigger words or just characters. Maybe, you know, two keys. Yeah, I'm actually really interested to know how he uses this keyboard. I mean, that's great to take, you know, with you on a travel. You leave that <laughs> big old mouse, you I mean, know. Your wallet is bigger. Your phone is probably bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I, I really admire that he he uses little pillows for his wrist rest. Yeah, the, the pillows are bigger than the, than the, the keyboard. keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, and I must say I'm more of a Super Mario World type of guy than Super Mario 3. Just saying. I'm that old. <laughs> we have the super duper comfy setup. This is by Super Swole. And this is my favorite one, you know, like so, so Swole. <laughs> so whole. <laughs> swole. You know what swole means, right? Yeah, like swole. Yeah, swollen. Like swollen. You know, like, like, like me. You know? No, but when you say super swole, he's like. Oh, like, like, like oh. This setup is legit. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, like maximum comfort, stigma rays on both armrests. I guess he has a mouse if you see it. There yeah, on the, on the right. side. Yeah. I don't know how he would reach that. And I I wouldn't be surprised if this chair had a ma had a massage feature. That would be yes. I awesome. would want that. I, I would fall asleep on meetings with that. You know, like they are like. Oh. But you also feel like you're in a modern spacecraft thingy. You know, that's like how you're looking upward, like kind of minority that's how report. It's, yeah, that's the way to go, man. Do you remember um, Wally? Yes. Yes. It gives a lot of Wally vibes, like yeah. Oh. It's like, who and, needs and you would be up? swollen too in another way. Yeah, <laughs> it's an awesome DIY solution because you can see he just made it with yeah, yeah with, with pipes and whatnot. That's and the screen awesome. is big, two screens, and even you know, something for his cup and whatnot. Productivity on point, yeah, yeah. super swole. So we hope you liked the setups we've shown you. And remember, the Digma race isn't only great for cool setups, it also gets you pussy. Pussycat. It's perfect. Aha! Gotcha! So this is what happened to my mouse. Your cat ate it. You better get me a new mouse. You hear me? Or I'm coming for you, Mr. Leaf Thief. Or shall I say, Mouse 